All right, so today we'll be talking about a compositions of reflections. Okay, now compositions of reflections are just basically if you have an image right here, let's say triangle ABC right here, and then you do a reflection. Okay, it's going to be pretty simply the same thing. Okay, you're just doing the reflection of it. Okay, now obviously this is an isometry, so it's not going to be changing it too much. But if we do a reflection again of that new image, not of the pre-image, but of this image right here, okay, if you notice that these two are the same, okay, and it almost looks like it looks like a translation okay alright so it's almost like I took this point and just moved it over to here okay All right. now obviously we'll be just working with the vertices as the points we focus on and everything so this is actually I believe let me look at it real fast that is theorem 9-2 a composition of reflections across two parallel lines is a trans is a translation. Okay, so these two uh, actually have to be intersecting to actually have this happen. Okay, now another uh, benefit of actually working with this, okay, is what if we have, and I'm going to do something like this. Okay, now let's say we did the first, okay, so I'll do the first reflection here a little bit easier. Okay, so something pretty simple like that. Uh, mine might be a little bit off. No, it's it's not bad. Okay, now here's the tricky thing: is instead of doing a parallel line to make it a translation, what if I make it an actual uh, intersecting reflection line? Okay, now when I actually do that, okay, you'll see something really surprising. Now let's get rid of that. It's not really doing this in art is a little bit harder than it seems. Okay, there we go. Okay. This is actually a rotation to this point. Okay. Alright. So if I do and this is uh, this is just going to be a rotation, they're going to be the same but it's going to be because of rotation because of rotation rotation there we go okay and so if I, this is also theorem 9-2 in saying that if I have two intersecting lines of reflection that my post image or my, 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 my image that I want to actually deal with of the pre pre image is actually going to be a rotation of it so it's almost like I took and rotated about a point Okay, and interestingly enough, that point is the intersection. Okay, so if I was actually to measure out everything and just work with it as is, you would actually see it work out this way. So, some really cool stuff from compositions of uh, reflections, some really neat stuff. Okay, uh, real fast, uh, one thing I do want to point out to you guys is that there's only four types of isometries. Okay, there's going to be a translation, rotation, reflection, and some of you guys are probably going to say dilation, but no, it's going to be a glide reflection. Okay, and I'll show you what that is in a sec. Okay, now a glide reflection is just basically going to be the same thing as what we've been dealing with, except you're going to take the image, okay, and you're going to move it first so we move it okay so you take your pre-image and you move it okay and then you actually have your your line of reflection 
Okay. Alright, and so this would actually be what is called a glide reflection. Okay, now if you notice it, if I take away this stuff right here, let's take away that. Oops, bring this one back. Okay, if I take and look at it right here, and then I repeat this glide reflection a couple times down the line, I'm going to get what is a nice mosaic. And this is where mosaics are really cool. Uh, that they actually are, they're, they're beautiful, not because they're just nice and artistic, but they're actually a glide reflection which follows the rules of symmetry and everything. And it's really kind of cool how mosaics work. Okay, so if you ever see a mosaic or if you ever talk about mosaic in your art class, you'll be actually looking at a glide reflection. Okay, all right. And that's it for compositions or reflections. I'll talk to you later. Bye.